You know, after you've lost somebody, you just want to escape or run away or pull the sheets up over your head or go out in nature and just never come back and just be with absolutely nobody. Now, that's what you think. I mean, you just want to, like, take it all in yourself and handle it yourself and be by yourself and because uh, you're just numb. And, you know, isolation is part of the process of grief. And grief has, you know, processes that it goes through. But sometimes isolation goes on a little too long and it's better for you to be around like-minded people. Now, if you have a pet, they just go, ah, get over it. And if it's a person, they say, eh, six months, move on. <laughs> or a year, move on. But you know, sometimes when it's real deep, that doesn't matter at all. Huh. I can tell you that doesn't matter at all because I lived there for a while. So, let me tell you what does help. You want to be involved in a positive support group. And we offer a positive support group. That allows you to vent. We meet you where you are. But we also take and expand your knowledge and expand your awareness so you can understand that dead and done is not over. It's just a matter of just starting a new journey. And I'd like to offer you, we have one for missing loved ones in heaven slash afterlife. That's for people who've lost. And I qualify for that. My fiance was killed. I understand what it's like losing your best friend, your soulmate, your heart person in a sudden wreck. Everything in your life changed, done. And isolation... Well, that sort of helps the numbness for a while because you can't get yourself together. But in time, you need to grow forward. And if it's a pet, that's like losing your heart dog or your heart cat or your soulmate too. And you don't want to hear somebody say, just a pet, get over it. And another thing is, sometimes people can't understand because they can't relate to you. It's the, if they haven't been there and done that, they really don't get it. And they may try, but let me tell you, Unless you know somebody who's been through and suffered through the loss of a human or the loss of a pet the way I have or the way they have, they don't get it because it's etched in your soul after you've been through that experience. So we'd like to offer you several areas where you can get help. And one is my Missing Loved Ones in Heaven slash Afterlife group. We've got great administrators over there that will help hold your hand and get you through so you're moving forward in life. And we have a pet group, Animal Life After Death. That will help you heal your heart, find like-minded people, and nobody's going to tell you you're crazy because you're grieving over a pet. So we'd like to offer you the support that I learned is a good thing after you've been through what we all have suffered, the loss of our soulmate in a person and in a pet. So come on down and visit us. We'd like to help heal your heart because we get it. And we have counselors on there 24 7 all over the world because we get it we've suffered it we've been there we've done it and we want to help heal your heart so you can move forward and enjoy never-ending love with their living spirit energy that's my job to teach you the dead is not done it's not over and finished it's just a transition to a new living energy where you can continue your never-ending love with signs and smells and dreams and visits. And once you do that, it's life-altering. And you'll always have that little spot that hurts, but you'll have a whole lot more of, come on, let's go have our new journey together. Thanks for listening. Subscribe and stay tuned. Bye-bye-bye.